Hello, my friends. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Be glad. Tell the truth. Are you glad about the day? <laughs> Come on. Are you glad? Well, if you're not, here's some good news. The weekend is coming. The weekend is actually upon us. And so we are here at the rest stop and we will read the word of God. This is just your moment now to rest and to stop. Amen. We're going to read the word of God and then we're going to rest together. It's been a long week. <laughs> it has been a long week, but we're looking forward to the weekend. Amen. And can you believe it is the end of July? I can I can hardly believe that August 1st is on Monday. But we thank God. We thank God for what he's doing in our lives. And so here we are in the 17th week of ordinary time on a Friday afternoon. We're going to rest. We're going to stop. We're going to thank him for what he's done for us and for how he has brought us through this week. And um, and so I want to read a psalm. I'm going to read from the, the lectionary. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to read a psalm, and then I'm going to give you another verse that I want you to take and to read on your own. The one I'm going to read right now is uh, Psalm 138. Psalm 138. Highlight maybe one or two things from it, and then I'm going to give you another one to take away with you uh, so that you can read that on your own. Okay? Is that all right? All right. I hope so. I hope it's all right. All right. So here we go. Psalm 138. Put these on and let's read it together. When you have the word of God, say, amen. Psalm 138. I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted your name and your word above me everything. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased my strength of soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall, they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is high, he regards the lowly, but the haughty he perceives from far away. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve me against the wrath of my enemies. You stretch out your hand and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hand. Amen. Thanks be to God. God is faithful. He is so faithful. He will not forsake the way, work of his hands. Huh? We are the work of his hands. He will not forsake us. He will not forsake you. And this is why we know because our God is an awesome God, right? He reigns above everything. And so we give him praise. We give him praise. Now, that's what I want to lift. I want to lift, I want to lift that part about the name of the Lord. And the reason why I want to lift that is because it's so important that God's reputation is sure. That God's reputation is great. It is good. It is great. He is mighty. We know indeed that his reputation goes before him. And so we're so grateful that we can trust in our God. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? Yeah, I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart, right? With my whole heart. Now, we might look at that little part there and say, before the God, listen, we, we built up so many little gods here, but God is above that. In the midst of all of it, he is above all of that. And so we can just thank him. So if your week wasn't that great, and um, if you're feeling a little, you know, a little scratchy, a little, little you know, runny nose, you're going to trust the Lord. We're going to trust him. Trust him because he's a healer. He's a healer and he can do all things. 
And so God bless you this week and this weekend as you rest and you stop and you go into the weekend. The other thing I want to say is that his love is great, right? We talked about his steadfast love, right? Um, I know I read that. Here we go. Oh, oh gosh. For the Lord. I know I saw that somewhere. It hit me when I read it, but you go back and you, you read it. Um, but, you know, we thank him for, oh, yes, yes. Verse eight, you know, his steadfast love, steadfast love. God's love is steadfast. He pursues you, right? We thank him for his steady love. So anyway, the scripture that I want you to write down and take away with you uh, and read on your own is also in the lectionary. It was found in the lectionary this week. It is Luke uh, chapter 11, verses 1 through 13. Luke chapter 11, verses 1 through 13. It's a very familiar passage. It's really the model prayer that Jesus gives his disciples to pray. But but Luke has it laid out in three sections. So the commentaries will tell you it's laid out as the, the prayer, then a parable, and also sayings about all of that. So um, so it's, it's the prayer part that I want you to focus on because what Jesus does when he gives his disciples the model prayer is that um, he gives them a name by which they can depend on and that they can draw close to, that they know that they are being, they are being cared for by God. And so he, he gives them the name uh, Abba, Father. And so we thank him for that. We thank Jesus for giving them that closeness because you do know in, in um, the Jewish faith, they're very careful about even writing down the name of God. And they, they don't really... You know, God's name is so holy. It's so holy. They give it great regard, right? They give his name great regard. But we see here that it says, hallowed be thy name. His name is holy. Don't forget the holiness of God. And so we thank him for that. So let's just rest and stop together on this Friday afternoon. Hopefully your work week has been completed. Uh, by the time that you see this and that you can just rest and know that God loves you and he is for you and he is with you. So let's calm ourselves. Let's calm ourselves and let's receive from our Lord. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this day that you have made. Yes, Lord, we will rejoice and we are glad about it. Father, um, so much has come by way of information this week. And every time we even log onto the computer, there's bad news. Lord, but we trust you. We trust you that you are above all of that. Mm -hmm. And we trust that you are great. And Father, so we pray. We pray, Lord, actually we pray now for for your creation, for the work of your hands. We pray, God, for everyone. We ask, Lord, that you would help help people in their mental state, help them in even, Lord, dealing with this um, variance, the variance and everything. Lord, we pray that you would heal and that you would deliver with your right hand. You would deliver us, God, from all that we are, we are facing at this time. Be with us, strengthen us. We know that you are a God who loves us indeed. And we love you, Father. We're so grateful for you. Lord, we give you praise and we give you glory and adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 My friends, before, before I leave you, I want to give you some good news. I have a podcast. It's not the rest stop, but it's called Soul Journey with the Reverend Dr. Malachi Williams. So if you do a search, you'll find it. Soul Journey with the Reverend Dr. Malachi Williams. Why don't you join me on a soul journey when you get a moment? And because it's a podcast, you can just listen to it anytime. God bless you. And you all, I'll see you at the next rest stop. Have a wonderful week.